Hi guys, thank you for joining me here again at Lulu's Toy Review. Today I have some Hatchimals collectibles to open with you. These are some of the Royal Hatch Hatchimals. I actually have never opened Hatchimals before. I opened one Hatchimals Pixie, but never the small eggs and never the small collectibles. So I am super excited to get these open. Let's go ahead and get started. So guys, before we crack these eggs open, let's take a look at the packaging. As I mentioned, these are part of the Royal Hatch series. There are 50 to collect, and there is an accessory in every egg. This is the Royal Multipack. If we look at the back of the packaging, we can see some of the cute little Hatchimals we can get. So these are the Royals, and we also have Princess Pears, and also some Glitter Limited Editions. And with the accessories, we can get our Hatchimals glammed up. So let's get our little eggs out of their package. So guys, I just wanted to point out that this packaging would be really neat to use in a craft. So we have this plastic heart at the top, and you could certainly cut that out and maybe tape another piece of plastic on the back and make a shaker charm or something similar to that. So I'm definitely going to save this and reuse it. And then also we have these cardboard inserts, which are great for crafts as well. So guys, here is everything that was in the package. We have three eggs, a character, and also our checklist. Let's take a look at this guy first. He looks super cute. I love the color of him. He is semi-transparent, but there's a very iridescent sheen to him, and it just looks beautiful. And I love how his eyes are closed. He looks so content. I also like the marking around his eye. It's very pretty. And he has a very shiny hot pink mermaid tail and some very shiny wings on the back. So pretty. And then his crown comes off and it's a silver crown, very shiny and shimmery. And you can leave it off or put it back on. So let's take a look at the checklist and see who this guy is. So on this side we have a poster and it says coming soon a royal snowball and one of the Hatchimals pixies I opened was from that series and she is so gorgeous back there. Then on the back here we have our different Hatchimals we can get. Actually guys it looks like these characters are not ones that we are going to be getting in our package because these are all for the royal snowball. I don't see a checklist for the ones we have, so I guess maybe there isn't one. Uh, in any case, let's go ahead and get to our eggs. So here's the first one, and there is a purple heart on the front. And with these, we have to rub the heart to make it warm, get it ready to hatch. One little heart. How heartwarming. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit pink. Yep, I see it turning. Let's see if we can... There we go. So here is our little Hatchimal and how pretty. This one is super shimmery. I love the pink. He has a little mark by his eye, some blue eyes, a beak, and some white fur on the bottom of his face. And I wonder what type of animal this is. The way its face is shaped reminds me of a fox, but then again, he has a beak. But then again, he has some fox ears, so I'm not really sure. And look, he has a little fox tail as well, and some silvery wings. <laughs> it's almost a mashup of a bird and a fox together. And this one came with this accessory. So it's a golden crown, and it's super pretty. Let's go ahead and put that on him, like so. And there we have it. So cute. I think we can save the bottom of the eggs and you can use them to display your Hatchimals. I didn't see anything on the inside where they could sit, but I think we could just sit them on top like this. So let's open up our next egg. And by the way, these eggs are beautiful. I love the glitter. 
I love the different shapes on the outside of the egg. They're almost too pretty to want to smash to pieces. Oh. <laughs> so satisfying, guys, to break these. Oh, I think I'm going to like this one. Okay, guys. So we got what looks to be a little deer almost. He is so pretty. So it's another pink one. And again, very, very shimmery. I love the mark on the eye. This one also has blue eyes, but it has this yellow on its stomach and it looks so pretty. How cute. And it also has silver wings. Let's see what this one's crown looks like. So this one also has a gold crown, but it's more like a king's crown. It has this very uh, puffy top to it. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Super cute. These are so adorable. Let's sit him on his egg over here. And this is our last egg, guys. Smash. All right, Lulu Crush. <laughs> Smash that egg here. Wonder what this is made of. I hope it's not too bad for the environment. I don't know if it's some kind of biodegradable material. Okay guys, it looks like we got all pink characters. So this one is also pink and it looks like a little teddy bear. <laughs> oh my gosh, how cute. I love his pose. He has one arm down and one arm up as if he's waving or greeting us. Hello there. So he also has blue eyes, but his are a little bit lighter than the others were. And he also has some glittery silver wings. Let's see what his crown looks like. So this one is more of a tiara, but it's very pretty. Let's see what it looks like on our Hatchimal. And <laughs> there he is. So cute. So guys, here are the four Hatchimals we got in our Royal Multi-Pack. And they are so pretty and super adorably cute. But do I feel like this pack was worth the $10 I paid for it? I'm not so sure. I think a lot of the cost when it comes to toys like this is due to the packaging, the eggs that we smash and throw in the trash. And I just don't know if that's the best way to do things. The actual figures themselves are super small. And unless you're a Hatchimals collector, I don't feel like you're getting a ton for your money. Now, if you do collect Hatchimals and you want to collect every single one from every set, I think these are great. And also as a novelty toy, breaking the egg open is so satisfying and fun. So it can go either way. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you feel inclined and have a great day. Bye.